Hi guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another pros pointer for you today. Before we get into this pros pointer, let me invite you to send in your own video for us to feature you in a pros pointer video. Send a video of you showing your favorite technique, lure modification, anything that you would like to share to help everyone else catch more bass. You can use your phone for the video, shoot it in the landscape direction, that's the wide direction. If you keep it under a minute, you should be able to text that right over to our office number. If it's too big to text, you can email it to info at AmericanBass.com. Don't worry about trying to make the video perfect. We can edit glitches that you might have in your submission. Then be sure to share these videos with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe and hit the notify icon. That way they will be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, let's jump into this pros pointer. This one is being presented by Jim Waits. Jim is a longtime American Bass Tournament pro. He has 35 tournament wins on the American Bass Tournament Trail and a record 12 American Bass Angler of the Year titles. Jim is also a top outfitter for Ron Speed Jr.'s Adventures. These are the trips to Mexican lakes for the best bass fishing in the world. So if you're considering a Mexican bass fishing trip, Jim's the guy to talk to. Jim's going to share a tip that helps him with his tournament success. Okay, everyone. The tackle tip I'm going to give you is how to put a trailer hook on a small bait. We all have swim baits or chatter baits or, or small grubs or whatever with a single hook. And you'd like to have an extra little bit of security for a trailer hook like a spinner bait, but a regular spinner bait's too long. So I'm going to give you a tip what I do, and believe me, this has put a lot more fish in the boat for me over the years, especially in critical tournaments. One more fish is everything. Okay, watch this. Take a, take a variety of, uh, of treble hooks. You can have one with red flash or whatever. I like the wide gap style. Use a little bit bigger treble hook than you would normally use. The trip was to take a set of dikes, take the, take the flat side where the hook stands up, Flip this off, flip this off, and what you end up with is one single little trailer hook. Any size you want to make, whatever size treble hook you want to pick. You can take this, add this onto a swim bait, put your little keeper to hold it on, and you have a killer little trailer hook. It can swing free. I've actually caught five pounders on this little hook that, that you wouldn't have, wouldn't have got. You can put it on a chatterbait, a grub, a fluke, just about anything, and this will help you put more fish in the boat. Good luck. Thanks for the great tip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help this channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.